Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Not channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hop series episode. It's episode number 113 and today I am going to be going to another MPSL match. But this time I am going to be going to Davis to watch the Causeway Classico between FC Davis versus Sacramento Go. Now, obviously this is a big game for both of these teams because this is a derby and this is a classico but this is also a big game because it's a top of the table clash in the mpsl golden gate conference and also this game has a lot of playoff implication as we're down to just the last two weeks of the regular season in the mpsl golden gate conference for fc davis they have already booked their tickets to the playoffs but if they can get a win or a draw in this game against their hated rival Sacramento Goal, then they will clinch the top spot in the MPSL Golden Gate Conference. Now, as for Sacramento Goal, their situation is a little bit interesting because on one hand, they still have a chance to clinch the top spot in the MPSL Golden Gate Conference and that if they can get a win against their hated rival FC Davis tonight, they'll move within one point of their hated rival and that they're going to have a duel to decide who's going to finish the top spot in the Golden Gate Conference on the last day of the regular season. But at the same time, Sacramento, they actually have not clinched their playoff spot in the MPSL Golden Gate Conference yet and that they're actually in a four-way battle for the last two spots in the playoffs and that those four teams are actually only separated by just two points. Now the good news for Sacramento is that they actually are the only team out of those four four teams that have a game in hand over those three teams that they're battling for the last two spot of the playoffs and that if they can get a win tonight then they will clinch their spot in the playoffs this season so yeah there is a lot at stake in this game and that I expect this to be a very intensive game between both of these teams especially with so much that is on the line tonight but yeah hopefully we're gonna get a good game tonight let's go soccer so I've just arrived at Davis and I believe that is the stadium right in front of me and I think that's also the gate, which hasn't been opened yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be opening in just a bit. So as I'm waiting for the gate to open, I'm actually going to give you guys a little bit more information about this fixture. So like many of the Darbys and Classical that have attended in MPSL, this is one of the newest one as both of these teams only start playing each other about a year ago and that this is the second year of existence in this Darby. And so far, Sacramento Go is the only team that's been able to taste victory. Uh, that, of course, includes earlier this season when they were able to win 2-1 against FC Davis and it's actually the only loss that FC Davis has suffered this season and then last year when Sacramento play against FC Davis here in Davis they actually handed a 6-1 beat down to the host to able to win their first ever Causeway Classico so yeah it's safe to say that certainly Sacramento goal has FC Davis number in this Classico but like I said many times before you know when you have a Classico and a Derby four and history of course goes out of the window so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen tonight in tonight's fixture so now I am inside the stadium and as you can see over there the players are doing their pregame warm-up I actually have no idea which are these players I think these are the Sacramento goal player and over there are the FC Davis player doing their pregame warm-up and we also have fans start to show up and there's a long line right now to get the tickets at the gate and now the players are heading to the center circle and by the way there is still a long line right here to get inside the stadium and there's actually a lot of people are, have attended this game and shouldn't be a big surprise considering the fact that this is a derby and when you have two teams that is in the top two of the Golden Gate Conference obviously there's gonna be a lot of people attending this game Fans, of course, are clapping there in the background. And we're just about five minutes away from the kickoff of this match. Well, it looks like we're going to have a bit of a delay in this game because apparently they've just found out that there is some issue with the sign netting and that they're just trying to fix the sign netting right now. And the referee finally gets this Causeway Classical underway. FC Davis will be going all white today, going from left to right, while Sacramento Go will be going with the navy blue kit, going from right to left as we're underway in this pack house here inside the stadium here in Davis. Let's go, Noah! Now here comes Davis here on the right side. The cross comes in and it is over! Oh my goodness, that player had 
a free yard tap in and I have no idea how in the world did he not put that one away. Well, here comes Sacramento and that's a good ball. And he's gonna try to play this back to the middle. Big chance for Sacramento here. And that player couldn't quite bring it down cleanly. Now he's gonna try to center it, but instead it's given away. Well, that was a big chance for Sacramento. And now here comes Davis on the other end on the counter. So he play the ball into the middle and it is gonna be wide there. Well, it's been a pretty even game so far and seen both teams kind of giving the ball in a sloppy position and there's an example of that as here comes FC Davis and he's in on goal here. Big chance for the first goal and it is saved by the keeper there. Oh and that is a bit of a mix up and that player is able to get to it. He's gonna try to center this ball. Goalkeeper comes out and it is off the line there as somehow in some way that did not go into the back of the net I pulled off that same move that he did a minute ago as the ball plays in and that is going to be saved but the linesman has raised his flag and well it was an amazing save by the goalkeeper but even if that one went in it wouldn't have counted because it was offside Oh, and that's given away, and here comes Sacramento, and it is saved there by the goalkeeper. As now both goalkeeper is coming up big in terms of trying to keep this at a nil-nil scoreline, and that's going to go behind for a goal kick. And, well, he had a gap there to shoot, but again, that first touch kind of let him down, and somehow he's got there, and it's off the post! Well, what a big chance again there for FC Davis as somehow in some way he was able to get past a couple of defender and that one hits to the top part of the post and again we came inches close to getting the first goal of this game well, that ball is kind of trickle a little bit and there's a bit of shout there and now it's going to be clear the way as well that defender was kind of caught off guard and now he's going to go for an ambitious effort and that one is going to be high and wide there. And now the eyes is going to be on the referee to see when is he going to blow for halftime whistle. But before that, that is going to be clear the way. And that is going to be the halftime whistle. Halftime here in Davis as it is scoreless in this Causeway Classical between FC Davis and Sacramento Goal. So it's halftime here in Davis as it is currently scoreless in the Causeway Classical between FC Davis and Sacramento Goal. But this has been one of the best nil-nil draw that I've seen heading into halftime as there has just been some endless opportunity here in the first half. I mean, you know, if it wasn't for a couple of decent goalkeeping heroics and also for some last ditch ball clear off the line kind of heroics we probably should have had the first goal of this game but certainly here in the second half it's all to play for in the Causeway Classico and just to remind you if FC Davis win or get a draw out of this game they will win the Golden Gate Conference division and if Sacramento Gold does win this game they will clinch their playoff spot and the referee gets this second half underway well it is all to play for here in the Causeway Classico as it is still nil-nil. And also there's an ice cream truck there in the background. Although none of the kids, of course, go to the ice cream truck to get some ice cream and just kind of focus the game. As I looked like it was a handball there off of Wanda Davis player, but I think he wasn't very interested as here comes Sacramento. And well, that is going to be offside there as again, it's all to play for here as both of these teams are looking to try to get that first crucial goal. Now they're going to play the ball here on the right side. That's a decent ball. So they're trying to cross this one back into the middle. Big chance for the first goal. And it's in the back of the net there for FC Davis as they have got the first goal here. And the fans goes absolutely nuts here in the stadium as we have finally got the opening goal here about a couple of minutes into the second half. Now he's gonna go for a little crawling effort and that is gonna be just a little bit high there in terms of that fourth spot. And that one is given away and here's a big chance and that is going to be clear the way there as that is a great clearance there by the goalkeeper to come off his lines and just cleared it in time. 
before the player can just slots that one home into the empty net. And trying to protect this slim one nothing lead. Now that's a beautiful ball there to switch up the play. Now the cross comes in, it's a free hitter and it is wide. Oh, that is a big chance for Sacramento goal to get the equalizer from a free header, but you just skew that one a little bit too much to the left, and it is going to be a goal kick here for Davis. And that is a good ball there. He's looking to try to swear it back, and it's in the back of the net there for FC Davis, as they have doubled the lead here to make it 2 nothing. And again, the fans go absolutely nuts here. And FC Davis, despite the fact that in the majority of this second half, haven't had a lot of the ball, is able to put away their, their chances when they had it. Just like that, it is now 2 nothing here. And now Davis are on the other end and that player is dribbling through. And that's a good ball chance for the third goal here. It's saved there by the keeper as well. Sacramento completely caught napping there in the defensive end. And that Davis player just kept going and they almost got that third goal and probably almost game over here in this Causeway Classico. If Davis would have got that third goal. And that player is on side, and he's through on goal. This is a chance for the third goal here. And it's in the back of the net there as FC Davis has got that third goal. And you would think that is game, set, and match here in the Causeway Classico. And really, you could also say that FC Davis has now officially clinched the Golden Gate Conference division as they have now got that crucial third goal and it leads it 3 nothing here in this Causeway Classico. Here's a big chance for FC Davis as this ball is going to be about 22 yards out. Chance to get this fourth goal here and it is the fourth goal as that one is in the back of the net and well if it wasn't over before it is definitely now as FC Davis has got this fourth goal as they have now scored the fourth goal here in the second half and they lead it for nothing in this Causeway Classico. You know, Sacramento is going to go on the other end and that ball oh, is going to be a little bit high but it's given away and it is going to be in the back of the net there for Sacramento as well the goalkeeper just could not quite pair that one now and that one sneak into the back of the net and Sacramento of course get one back and I'm not quite sure if that is going to be a goal that will have any impact into this game as they're still down three here with about 10 minutes to go. If Sacramento get this equalizer as the goalkeeper comes out and that one is going to be wide there as well it looks like that goalkeeper made a bit of a mistake trying to come out and that F or Sacramento player almost made him pay there as that one is went wide. A long ball here and the flag stays down here as they play the ball back into the middle and it's in the back of the net and it's now 4-2 here. Well now it is a two goal deficit with about a minute and a half to go of regular time and well this has started to be getting a little bit interesting and you know Davis definitely have have took their foot off the gas a little bit and you know whether or not if that goal does sig signal a miraculous comeback we shall see but now it's a two goal deficit gonna go for a little long ball here and it's in the back of the net there and that is game set um, and match as FC Davis has got that fifth goal and just like that it is now 5-2 here and the ball comes in and it's gonna be punched away and that is gonna be a foul here it's gonna be a yellow card and well that is also I think gonna be a penalty too because that actually occurred inside the box. So, well, Sacramento does have a chance to get another one back on the from the penalty spot, although with just so little time, I think this is gonna be just a consolation goal more than actually a goal 
and give them a chance to come back. And here's the penalty. It's a long walk up here. And it's in the back of the net there. And it's also full time here as it is full time here in the Causeway Classico. And the final score in an eight goal thriller here in this Causeway Classico. It's FC Davis with a 5 3 win over Sacramento Goal. And with this win, FC Davis is crowned the champion of the NPSL Golden Gate Conference as they have won the division. So just finished here in Davis as in the end it was an eight goal thriller in the Causeway Classico as FC Davis is able to win 5-3 over Sacramento goal and you know really in this second half it was pretty similar in the first half where we had a lot of chances for both teams but the only difference here in the second half is that those chances that that both team had they were able to put it away whereas in the first half they unfortunately wasn't able to put the ball into the back of the net despite the fact that they had those glorious chances and really FC Davis kind of run away in this game and that you know once they score that first goal they actually had a period where they were able to score three goals in 11 minutes to basically run away with the game you know Sacramento they did try to make it a little bit interesting but in the end it was always going to be FC Davis that's able to win this game and win their first ever Cl Causeway Classico and also congratulations to them winning the Golden Gate Conference Division and they actually had a trophy for that which unfortunately I just missed when they lifted the trophy and then caught that on clip and as for Sacramento goal obviously they'll be very disappointed about this resort but at the same time they really need to pick themselves up because they're gonna be in an absolute dogfight on the final day of the season to try to secure one of those last two spots in the playoffs obviously right now they have a one point lead over the team that is currently in fourth place so you know they still control their destiny in terms of making the playoffs but if they do lose or draw in the next game then they could find themselves potentially out of the playoffs that depends on what other team is going to do so either way guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys hit like smash that subscribe button yeah i of course will see you guys next time